two pins standing. The two pin and the seven. There's wood, but it's all to the right. Actually, one is rolling behind, but not in a position where it probably will. Well, let's see. No. He got the two, but, and uh, hit the, the uh, felled wood over to the right. So it's a 10. Now our challenger from Nantucket, Lee Buskey, comes up, and he's working on a spare. down except the 10 pin. He has it. Two in a row. Lee's first appearance on our program was back in 1979. Actually, he had two appearances. As you know, our season begins the 1st of September. All right, seven is the fill, so, and he met the same uh, guy, oddly enough, Steve Popolo beat him on June 23rd. He came back in the new season in September and lost to Steve Popolo again. Oh. Too bad, didn't quite get it. Then in 1981, Lee defeated Gary Carrington, and then the next week, he was defeated by Paul Wombat. There's a name out of the past. Well, two names out of the past. Steve Popolo and Paul Wombach. Lee did not bowl for a while. He's just getting back into it again. Now, Tom Olsta. Got a break, I'll tell you, when the six pin went down. Otherwise, he was going to have six and seven. But now he just has the seven. All over it. Two pull on the head pin. Just three. Right down the middle. Almost a spread eagle. Gets a couple more. Now he'll go for the four on the left, which uh, two, four, seven, and eight. And he got a couple. So it's a, an unusual seven box for Tom Olsta. Perhaps uh, it's possible you may note that you haven't been seeing Lee Buskey sitting down when Tom is up, as you do see Tom behind Lee. It's because Lee, uh, although he would definitely not want to use it for an excuse, he has a sore back, and so he doesn't want to sit down. He wants to stay standing up, and so he just goes off to one side where he stands. So I just want you to know he's not ignoring Tom. All right, he has a triangle. You never know what's going to come into your earphone like a voice from the, uh, the van saying, maybe he'd like to ignore Tom. <laughs> Guess who said that? <laughs> All right, he's got the seven and eight. Tom Olsta. Final two in the middle string. All 
right, he's got a great spare leave now. He's got the four and seven, and he has a piece of wood right between them. You just knew that he would not miss that great opportunity. All right, 101 right now, plus. Plus what? Plus nine. Now 120, obviously, coming up, I think, but yes. And that will be a plus. He has another bonus ball to roll. Ended the first, as you know, with two marks and filled uh, his spare with a strike. Let's see if he can do it again. Nope, not this time. Got eight. 128. All right, Lee Buskey was leading in the match by 12. Now Tom has had two marks in a row in the ninth and 10th. Let's see what happens. Lee's got the corners full, the seven and the 10. He's got some wood in the middle. He's gonna give this a good look when he sees where the wood goes. He's got to see how he can utilize the wood and he's gonna to try to glance off that piece of wood to get the 10 and send the wood over to get the seven. Let's see if it does work. Oh, great try, but the piece of wood went over, but it didn't have quite enough on it to take down the seven. A 10. Now he's opposite spare eight. Uh, he gets a strike. They just kept tumbling. So two bonus balls now at 121. All right, the first one gets him eight and leaves the seven and the nine. And three pieces of wood. Nine more. And uh, 129, no, 132, 128 wins $50 in bonus money for Lee Buskey for winning the middle string by that score. And right now, four pins separating our bowlers as they go into the third string. Buskey 259, Ulster 255. Challenger Lee Buskey of Nantucket has led off the third with a pair of nines. He's at 18 after two boxes. All right, Tom Ulster now. Ulster trailing, going into the third string. He was trailing by four, however, that's going to be taken care of, I would say, right about now. Strike in the first box. First ball nets him seven. The three pins that are standing are the four, seven, and eight. There's a piece of wood perpendicular to the pit to the right. There's one on a slight angle across the four and the seven. He has two in a row to begin the third string. kind of uh, caught his uh, left foot 
uh, as he was trying to stop at the foul line. As a result, he didn't have a good first ball nor second. He still has four pins standing and the object pin still becomes number one. Which he did not get, so it's a seven box. Slow start for our challenger in the third string, nine, nine, seven. And now he has a tough split. Four, seven, six, ten, two pieces of wood, one between the four and seven, one to the front of it, and another piece of wood in front of the six pin. Now, had there been a six pin over there and both of them been parallel, it would have, uh, with a four, seven, six, ten, it would have looked just like the shot that was so spectacular that Tommy made on the championship show where there were two pieces of wood that were parallel to the pit. And he, he just made it for a ten. And uh, they, they were close enough together so there was putting a ball right in the middle, swept both sides out. All right, seven is the fill on his spare in the second. The object pin is the five. He's got five, seven, and eight. And nope, got the five and eight. A 10. So he's now up to an 18 in the lead after being behind by four coming into this third string. Another spare leave. The three and the five. And yes. Challenger Lee Buskey from Nantucket, who led by four coming into this third string. But Tom Olsta has had marks in the three of the first four boxes. Lee is still looking for his first in the third. Right now, what he's facing is the one, three, and ten. He got the one and the ten, but the three is still there. It's a ten. Ralph Stewart calls time. He wants to check on a piece of wood. Right now it's the two, the seven, and the eight with wood. How did he miss it? He can't believe it. He came right in on the two pin. Looked like it was going to carry through. There was wooden back and take out the eight. Got the seven. But the eight pin is still there. Not anymore, as he just picked it off. All right, this is a fill on a spear in the fourth. And Tommy gets nine. All over it, Tom. The three pin is the one he has to get for another mark. His accuracy is almost uncanny. 
He fires the ball and he hits the single pin right in the middle. He comes back with a strike and fifty dollars more in bonus money. Lee Buskey missed the head pin. He has left the one, two, four, and eight. Four pins still there. It's a ten. to strike everything down except the nine pin. Well, let's see if he can get at that nine pin. He did by using the wood on the right. All right, Tom Osa's bonus streak is alive right now. He has three in a row. And the last one was a strike. First ball nets him eight and leaves him with the three pin and the seven, but he's got a lot of wood or that. Uh, he's got a V shape in front of that three. Can he make it? Yes. Now that required uncanny accuracy. He had to be right in the middle of that V in order to have it spread the two pieces of wood, carry out the three and send one piece of wood over to the left. Now an eight pin drop. He just, he just missed the three and six for another $50 in bonus money. That's what was supposed to happen. All right, final two now for Lee Buskey, and he's working on a spare in the eighth. The only mark he's had in the third string. Three, five, six, and ten, and he makes it. Eight pin drop, and for fifty dollars more in bonus money, he has to pick up the one and two. Piece of wooden back was rolling around. It will not be in play as he's trying to make this, but he had to wait for it, and he's got it. So $50 more in bonus money for Lee Buskey. Seven more. Come on, Tom, end it big here. Lee has just uh, congratulated Tom and congratulated him on his fine bowling. Final two strings for Tommy. Tommy's got a split. He's got the four seven over on the left and the ten pin on the right. Ralph Stewart is taking a check on a piece of wood. It has just rolled into the gutter. It's the four, seven, and the ten, as I said. The one piece of wood in front of the four, seven. 
And he got it, but not uh, any action to bring it over to the right. One forty-four going into the last box. One pin to break 400. There it is. He got a strike in the final box. All right, let's see. He's got two bonus balls, so he's at 409. First bonus ball. That gets him seven more. And one more. Now he shakes his head, but again, another 400 for Tom. He winds up with a 417, and of course that's worth another $100 in bonus money. And uh, Tom moves on to next week, which will be his ninth consecutive in this particular streak that he's uh, on. The final score in this one is Ulster 417 and Buskey 375. $100 in the home viewer jackpot, and uh, as you already know, it's 792 is the total. We give 10 either side, and uh, when uh, the card is drawn, even if it's nowhere near that, that person is always rewarded with a handsome gift from the Parker Pen Company. Okay, 792. And let's see whether we're going to give away $100 or whether we're going to put another $50 back into the home viewer jackpot. Way down the bottom here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. This one comes from Malden, Massachusetts. And it's from Fred Buckley, and his guess is 700 So we add another $50, and the next week... It'll be worth $150. Okay, the high-low jackpot uh, is a little different than it was when you were here <laughs> before, Tom. But right now, it's at 250 so take a shot at it. <laughs> okay, Lee. 250 Okay, stay here if you would, Lee, and we'll have a little conversation here, and then Tom will be up. Now, first of all, because you haven't been here for a long time, this is going to be, I'm going to take it back from you after, I want you to see what it is, but on here, we're going to inscribe the date and the, your name and all that kind of stuff, so you, I don't know whether you're going to take it on the fishing boat or what you're going to do, but... Uh, you, I'll give it to my little kid. Okay, <laughs> all right, guy. good, let's see now, what, what, what do we do today? $250 in bonus money, huh? Not uh, bad, but yeah, plus 350 So it was worth it coming back after all these years, huh? That's right, that's right. You, you bowled very well. I too, think the name of the game's hitting the head pin, and you can't miss it against this guy. <laughs> no. The way he bowls, and you did I miss wish it I could have been on a little better. I know, you bowled very well, though. And uh, I, I know you didn't want to use it for an excuse, but I, uh, but you do have a bad back today. A little bit, a little bit, but uh, that's it. Okay. okay. <laughs> Tommy, you know all about this. They go on and on, and they, they must be all over your house by this time, huh? And uh, let's see, today, uh, I know it wasn't per perhaps a number that you wanted. It went a little bit more, because right now you're in second place for the, for the championship be be well. behind, be behind Janet Park with, with your uh, 417. But anyway, you had a lot of money. You made a lot of money today. Uh, what do you have in bonus money? $300 in bonus money plus 700 And you come back to face old pal Billy Creek. Next week. All right. We'll be here. Will you be? Thanks. See you next week.